Hey, good afternoon one and all and welcome to the video. In this small video, I'll be showing you a small design or small Python code that can generate file names. Now, allow me to explain you what's the problem. So whenever we write code, right? So we have to, you know, let's say we are, make, we are dumping some files on S3 or, or FTP or any sort of location, right? So we have to create a file name, right? So usually you, you somebody use like year underscore month underscore day and the GUID, that's a random number. Someone wants to use a year and a month and then the file name dot JSON dot TXT or, you know, like that. So what I'm trying to say is, how do I come up with a generalized system or let me rephrase my word. How do I essentially write a mask that, that solves the problem. For example, year space GUID. So YYY automatically gets replaced by the year, the current year. The GUID would get replaced by the random GUID. So as you can see in the example, um, so here you can see YYY got uh, essentially replaced by the by the year, right? So how do I develop this, this, this logic? So for example, in the second example, as you can see, yy underscore mm underscore dd. So it replaces the value. So essentially, we are developing a placeholder system, right? So in the third case, as you can see, year, month, day. So I'm using a dash. So I want to generate the file name in this format. Then I want to generate the file name, maybe just a GUID, right? So how do I design this and how do I write the Python code for this, right? So now it generates the file name like this. So here is my thought process and let me know your ideas below, okay? So we essentially need three table. This is a relation. This is a relational um, table, right? So the first thing we need is DBO mask table that would have the mask name and the mask value. Mask name is essentially your MM, DD, GUID. These are your mask name, right? Your aliases. Mask value would be the injected Python code into that. So essentially, if you see, I have a mask value and I have a mask type. So there are two type of types, right? type one and type two type one means you want to inject python code Py two, pi two type two means you want to inject static variables so for example and i'll show you the data in a second but uh, let's go through the design session so uh, essentially uh, mask type name here you will have essentially uh, their type uh, so type name would be python and the description what it does then the second type would be literal which means static variable you want to inject and similarly, you have a table for extension. So this table uh, stores uh, extension name, txt, json, extension value, um, you know, its corresponding value, whatever that is. And we have a foreign key over here and a foreign key over there. <coughs> now, if you look at the code, the, so I'm just gonna show some sample data that I have. So these are the data that I'm reading from the database. I do not have a database, but I'm mocking it to show you. So here I'm saying my mask name is yyy. And the mask value is, you can see that that's a Python code, right? Date time or date time dot now dot year. So I want to inject the year whenever I use the mask value Y, Y, Y. Type is one, which means inject the Python code. Similarly, month, um, similarly, day. Similarly, I have a mask for GUID. And then I have a, a sample mask for some variable name. So I would say my var and this will replace by Sawmill. So this is type two, right? So now how does the code work, right? So this system, the way it works. So what did I do is first of all, uh, you wanna enumerate across the string, uh, sorry, you wanna enumerate across the data, which means all the masks that you have available, you wanna iterate over that. Then you wanna check if a particular mask name is there in the given file name. For example, is GUID there in the, in the, in the list? Is YYY there? Is MM there or DD there? So we are checking that, right? If it is type one, we know that uh, we wanna inject the value. So I'll, 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 I'll put the code on multiple lines so you can uh, read. File name dot replace, I'm saying item dot mask name dot strip. So replace, for example, uh, let's take a, an example here. So let's take this example. It's a good example here to, to show you. Okay, so over here in this example, the word yyy is the mask name, right? Dot strip, we remove any white spaces. Then we are using the word eval, item dot get mask value. Remember the ma mask value is the Python code, right? So whatever, you know, this one, we just put it here. So we are injecting this Python code and we are using the word eval. This would essentially store that in that variable. We are converting that into a string and the file name would be replaced, right? Similarly, if uh, in this one right here, we are saying that, hey, 
uh, if that mask type is 2 then uh, essentially replace the mask value this is for literal essentially variables or variables right so now with that as you can see so now I can literally in my system if I want to have file names I can make it work and just want to show you so it's a generalized system now I can use so here underscore the good if I want to have some static variable so what I'm saying is you don't have to hard code so essentially you have a smart system that can generate file names the way you want so now I'm using the my var placeholder this will replace that by variable if I just want month here I can just write the alias placeholder and my var this the python code would essentially replace that by the variable month today is January so that's one so you can have dd whatever you need you can create it right because if you hard code the file name in your code well now it's a problem because if you want to change you can't do it but now with this system I can simply change my mask and have file names as I want so my code is extremely extremely generalized no so that way tomorrow if you want to change the file name format you can immediately do that you don't have to go to the code you can simply change the mask and then it does the job hope you have enjoyed this concept and a walkthrough I'll leave the pseudo code in the description section below so you can check it out uh, let me know your thoughts on on the small idea for file names with mask uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you have questions, list your question in the comments. I'll be very happy to assist you. Once again, keep smiling, keep programming. See you guys in the next video.